Today at Customized Creations, we're going to show you how tough Searcoat is one more time, now using a uh, muriatic acid bath with 35% hydrochloric acid. Not sure if you can see that there or not. Here is a factory blued barrel. And we're going to go ahead and drop that in and start our clock here. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a few more seconds. Looks like it's almost completely gone. In fact, it is gone, so we're going to stop it there. As you can see, from 24 seconds, completely removed all the coating off a factory barrel there. Now we have a sear coated barrel. And I'm going to put five minutes on the clock there. And I'm going to leave this for five minutes and come back and see what it looks like. A lot of people have asked us uh, how durable Searcoat is. Uh, obviously, you can see from some of the testing that we've done, it's extremely durable. Uh, holds up very well. Uh, obviously, like any coating, if you drop it across the floor or if you're going to be uh, playing Navy SEAL with it and jumping out of planes and bouncing on rocks, you can damage it just as you will damage bare metal uh, or a plating on top of that as well. Um, obviously, Searcoat is a coating. It has self-lubricating properties. It is also has a thousand plus hour military salt spray testing. And all these facts are proven directly on nicindustries.com. Uh, none of this is hearsay. None of this is uh, made up stuff. You can see it all right there. They have information. They have graphs. Uh, you can call and ask for a copy of the information and they'll mail it out to you. Very good stuff. We specifically use it in our shop as our main coating. We also do nickel plating and other platings as well. Uh, to be honest with you, the, the difference between Searcoat and some of the platings, it's a color choice. Uh, you can go with the nickel platings and such to show you silvers and brightness and things like that, but if you want to go with the color, the only way to go is to go with Searcoat. I've tested everything else out on the market that we could get our hands on. I've had other vendors do things for us, and nothing is compared to Searcoat. Uh, we've done a lot of testing on it. A lot of research. Searcoat does a lot of uh, work for major manufacturers. Uh, Kimber, Smith & Wesson, uh, Sig, Sauer. They also do military work. Uh, that alone, plus their customer service, is one of the reasons why we strictly use Searcoat in our shop here. And as you can see at two minutes, a little bit over two minutes, I'm just going to pop this off for a quick second. Not even a mark. But we'll leave it in there. Heck, if you guys wanted to watch a 24-hour one and sit through the whole thing, and I'd do that too, but I don't think that's necessary. I think you guys will get the point here. Five minutes in a muriatic acid bath. I, I just don't see where people uh, can't believe how good Searcoat is. Just as a little extra, I was doing a barrel earlier, and I will dip it in at the same time now so you can see that, yeah, we didn't change anything. Here again, in a matter of a few seconds, 
we have a factory barrel totally stripped of its bluing. You can see a little bit of bluing on there. I'll dip it again and I'll get the rest of that bluing off. By the way, this stuff really stinks. There you go. You can see all the bluing is off the barrel now, again, in a matter of seconds. In fact, if you could hear this right now, if it was close enough, I think you could actually hear it sizzling in there right now. For those of you that want to strip the bluing off your barrels, uh, muriatic acid does work very well. Uh, make sure you mix it at a lower percentage rate. Uh, you can use 50% water, 50% muriatic acid. I wouldn't use straight muriatic acid. Uh, that's what we did in this case here. But uh, it's, as you can see, I mean, here we go. We have two factory barrels here stripped. And you can see that the factory barrel here is starting to show a little bit of rust already just from being out in the open air after being stripped like that. So make sure if you're gonna do this that you oil your barrels right afterwards or, or do whatever you're gonna do with it. Make sure you get that muriatic acid off of there. As you can see, we've left it in there for a little over five minutes. Again, I'm not even gonna wipe the acid off this and show you. No problems at all with this. No peeling, no flaking, no anything. You can see the muriatic acid is actually di dripping all over my table. But there you go. You tell me. Heavy duty stuff or what? <laughs>